Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we have a little Pundi X phone news and we'll see what the rigs have been doing. See you in a bit. All right, real quick, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I have something going on called Bitcoin Fridays where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So to be notified when that Inch to Win video comes out, you got to subscribe, hit that notification bell. All right, do that real quick before we go on, and uh, let's see what this whole Pundi X phone is about. All right, so I know it was just uh, two days ago I did a Pundi X video, um, but this just came out. I knew they had been working on this phone for a while now, but they actually just officially tested it. Uh, this is Pundi X's medium uh, making the first blockchain phone call a new path to decentralization function X So that's basically what the phone looks like right there uh, at, Pundi, <clears throat> at Pundi X we believe in harnessing blockchain technology and finding ways to integrate it into people's everyday life and make it better To this end we never stop looking for ways to find and create new applications for blockchain It's this spirit that has driven us to create the world's first working blockchain powered phone or point of sales device and today it's this that has led us to bring blockchain to the world of telephony data transmission and storage a world far beyond financial transactions and transfers this morning during the day two of the x blockchain summit at the inya putri bali we had a public demonstration and made the world's first blockchain phone call on our latest device, the X phone. So there it is. That's what it looks like. Unlike traditional phones, which require a centralized mobile carrier, X phone runs independently without the need for that. I'm still trying to figure that out. You know, I work in communications and I know you need cell towers for that. So. I'm wondering how they do that. I read this article and I didn't really see that. I mean, are they going to be running through hotspots? You still got to have one some way to connect to the internet. I understand they're using a blockchain, but you still got to connect to the internet somehow. Um, it runs on another Pundi X invention, which even holds more potential, the Function X blockchain. We developed our own chain, which will we believe will answer many of the challenges facing the many blockchain platforms today by increasing its scale, ability to publish dApps, and achieve true decentralization. It will also revolutionize the way we transmit data of all kinds, giving rise to a truly decentralized internet. That's something that Tron and Justin Sun are uh, working on. Function X is, just, is not just a public chain. It is a total decentralized solution. It consists of five essential components, Function X operating system, Function X blockchain, Function X IPFS, FXTP protocol, and a Function X Docker. All five have one sole purpose, which is to de de decentralize all apps, website, communications, and data. The Function X operating system is based off the Android operating system 9.0. Uh, so is there, there is backward compatibility with the Android apps for developers and users transitioning to the Function X platform. It would be relatively easy as the knowledge and experience from developing and using Android will be transferable. Uh, I'm not going to read this whole thing. There's only a little bit more. I'll get read basically down at the end here when it's coming out. I just thought this was really neat. Um, the X, phone, the X phone operating system is currently available to phone manufacturers for testing. The detailed information of Function X will be available to FunctionX.io on October 15th. The Function X blockchain, uh, basically the X phone and the other stuff will be available and officially launched quarter two of 2019. So I may look into that myself. That looks pretty neat just to see how it works. So anyways, I'll leave this link down below if you guys want to finish reading over it. It's pretty interesting, but I thought that was neat. So not only does Pundi X have a point of sale terminals now that they're shipping out all over the place like Dubai and things like that, 
now in the early next year they're going to be shipping out phones i'm guessing to um whoever purchases which is cool it's good to see a blockchain um, actually having a workable product and actually in this case a couple physical products okay mining rig stats 866 to light. Uh, my CPU has been slowing down for some reason. I really don't know why. I've rebooted the rigs a couple times. I think it might be just because there's more and more people mining stalite. So maybe um, just not getting as many coins. Uh, Micro Bitcoin seems to, go, seems to be going about the same. 76, 71, about 850 worth of that. Ethereum Classic Mine this week, 0.945. Um, $10.47. So we're sitting at just over $25 this week. Total value mined um, for the week. Gross total value mine is $785.30. Of course, I have not updated the price since the uh, crash of the market yesterday, but I'll do that tonight when I finalize the numbers. Okay, guys, uh, I guess that's going to be it for today's video. Again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you guys have any questions or comments, just put them down below and I will get back to you. All right. So with that, I will see you in the next one. Take care.